It is time, ladies and gentlemen, the final episode of Breaking Pebble, perhaps the best episode of Breaking Pebble. It consumes the best holes. Of course, Breaking Pebble is where golfers of varying handicaps take a trip of destiny down 17 mile drive. This time at Breaking Pebble, we're covering the last six holes, including the iconic seventh. If you haven't seen episodes one or two, please stop. Watch episodes one and two, head over to the link, it's in the description, and get yourself caught up. These golfers need some pebble magic to break their scores. We, we golfers, all golfers. Anyway, Justin Chastain is a 17 handicap attempting to break 1,000. Sorry, that was a typo, I mean 100. He's up against the wire and needs a few things to go his way to have a chance. Mikey Pompatura is a two handicap attempting to break 77. Surprisingly, after discovering his swing in episode two, Mikey is ready to fire at the pins. He's got his draw and he's got his swing back. Aaron Tuning playing off an eight handicap and attempting to break 90. He might be a comedian, but he still has a serious chance and a couple strokes to play with. And for me, well, this might be my worst breaking series ever, but <laughs> it's okay. I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to experience the friendship and the beauty one of my favorite courses in the world. All right, folks, the fourth hole is our 13th hole during the match here. It is a tantalizing, tantalizing 326-yard hole that unfolds along the cliffside, kind of like Pepperdelli, with some big white pieces of cheese and green pesto sauce. It's the only par four to play under par at the 2019 US Open, but don't let that trick you because plenty of trouble lurks with the nine bunkers surrounding the fairway and the green. Most people are gonna be going less than driver. We're into the wind, so that might change today. All right, Mikey, like I said, hitting driver. Uh, just a beautiful butter cut. It needs to get a little bit further right to cover that bunker. Well, we don't know. Aaron Chuning. He gone left. Good shot. You gone left. Where's that? We don't know. We don't have a catch cam on the tee shots, folks. And if you put it in the comments, maybe you'll see it. But I doubt it. I I don't know. Chastain wants a catch cam because this thing is going to be perfect. Man, nothing has felt good today. I'm having a great time, but not, no like wedge, putter, drive. Nothing's felt comfortable. It's funny. Comfort level is low. And I decided to not hit driver, but I also wrapped that thing over. Eh, who knows? You know, I mean, golf is just one of those things where it's like you just don't know until the ball lands. And then even then, you don't know. 16 middle, 109 pin. 16 middle, 109 pin, yeah. We're mostly cross with just a touch of help. Okay, we'll just play the number. Not in the bunker. This felt like a really good shot. I thought I had the right number. I don't understand. This is one of these, like... How is that 20 yards short? See, this I'm, I don't know how it's 20 yards short. Kind of reminds me of the alien talks that have been going on. Like, none of us really know. You know, none of us really know. There's people in the government that are saying, whoa, that's out of bounds. That's out of bounds. That's gone. That's, good night. Mikey gets a clean strike on it. Does it have enough? Are we all given the same advice? If you want to just play safe, a 50-yard shot, we'll still get you up and down, so. Oh. Yeah, we'll blade on that one. Okay. All right, it's glowing blue. Hit the green, Chastain. Gets through it well, guys. Gets through it well. I gotta say, that's a successful yeah. shot. I feel like you're the most mentally stable out here. Yeah, we're, we're good, dude. I mean, it, it's golf. Are you having a good time? I'm having a blast. Look, look at this. How could you not have fun with this? Don't go in the bunker again. Damn, wi wildly short. Doesn't quite sit. You know, sometimes when I go out to dinner, I look at my area afterwards, and it's a mess. It's like I am, like, inadvertently, I make a mess, you know, and it's not, it's not too different with my golf game. It's not tidy. This is going to be from Texas. There we go. That's one of those little, uh, 
by the bay. A North Carolina wedge? Yeah, a little North Carolina wedge. A little, a little tighter wedge, as they say. That's a good roll. That's a good roll. Good read. Oh, that's going to be a penalty there. Just picked it up, Justin. <laughs> yeah, it was something. Oh, we haven't talked about that. I didn't see that on the day. Who's drinking coffee right now? A little more, man. You had a good line. I am. Uh, the place I went to this morning didn't. They they had to brew a new pot of drip, so I just went and said, "Make make an americano." You know, let's try that. Wow, what a, what is that putt? Just say it in the comments. What is that putt? You're just supposed to beat me. Yeah. Nice finish. Does that help? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, he's on the high side. Wow. Tap in Bogue. Good nice. Yes, good. Nice double. Okay. Sounds condescending, but it's actually just the truth. All right, on our way to a par three here, folks. Ace Cam is live on the fifth hole. It's a mesmerizing par three. It's a spectacular par three. It's a long par three, and it's actually designed by Jack Nicklaus. It's a hole where the ocean is both a friend and a foe, as we can all relate. Do you want to drown or do you want to surf? Because this hole asks you that question with stunning views, but it's ready to claim any wayward shots. Ideally, you want to have a birdie shot here. A cut's going to look pretty good into the screen, but the wind is coming off the right. Here's the thing, golf, like life, is complicated. And when it's not going the way you want it to, it can get even more complicated. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can connect you with a therapist within a few days. Finding a therapist is like finding the perfect driver. Things don't always fit. And that's a really common thing with therapy. With BetterHelp, you can switch to a new therapist for free without worrying about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that BetterHelp, or any therapy really, will improve your golf game. But what I will say is that it can improve your life. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in the description, and it's betterhelp.com slash randomgolfclub. Clicking that link directly supports the channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp, so you can see if connecting with a therapist helps your life. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Betterhelp.com slash randomgolfclub. All right, Ace Cam is live here, folks. Anything's possible, Aaron. That's heavy and left. Solid hit. Was, it, was it a solid hit? It sounded, see, I don't know what the mics are doing here. But you know what? He has a good, whoa. So here, here's an interesting shot, right? So yeah, I'm teeing up here. And I got to tell you, I had target lock. I felt really, really, really good over this ball. <laughs> Just pured it into the abyss. Again, again, the theme comes up for me again. Aliens. What is over there? Why, why is that bad? Why can't I play that shot? Mikey, I got a feeling he's going to turn this over. That's a beauty. But again, really hard to put this ball on a line where the wind, you know, it's like Tiger says, like a good shot doesn't mess with the wind. But what do you do with a bad shot? It's just so confusing on this hole. Yeah, we all end up greenless. But the truth is, left, you've got some room for debate here. Now this, you know, this is a little better, I think. I didn't love it, but I think I just hit it a tad low, but it still scoots up. Look at the view. You couldn't, if you built that, no one would believe it. So here we are, just over the bunker and through the woods, downhill sloping green. How close can we get this? Don't go in the bunker. Don't. Bunker tuning. God, 
was a scary shot right there. <laughs> it was a scary shot for sure, for sure. Is it either that or probably ocean? Yeah, just struggling with the uh, language of golf over here, really, you know. Oh, no. No, you're okay. Stayed up? Okay. Good job. That is a yeah. very good shot. Got a feel for the uh, amateurs playing in the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. You know what I mean? Think about that. Think about having all sorts of people watching live. Maybe my best putt of the day from a lag standpoint. Yeah. So what you see here is just uh, just sloppy golf, you know, just sort of we're doing our best, but it's it's sloppy, you know. There you go. There you go. <laughs> do feel like there's an autobiography waiting for one of us called a good bogey. That's cool. What camera thing did? That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Clean up. If I hit that any harder, it'd be on the sixth green. Yep. Nice putt, Justin. We're just having a good time, folks. You know, and looming in the background is one of the most incredible par fives. Yeah, Mikey, that's got to. It doesn't feel good. You know, there's no way you could say that feels good. Unless you like things that feel bad, which would be weird. Do you get the feeling that Pat's got like a little mafia in him? Oh, Pat has killed some guys. 100%. Yeah, I haven't gotten his full life story. He doesn't really tell me. He said San Quentin for 15, which is wild. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. All right, folks, you've seen this hole. You've seen Tiger play this hole. You've seen everybody play this hole. It's the sixth hole. It's a short par five, but it is no slouch given that you've got bunkers up the left and water up the right and then you've got an invisible shot to the green that's definitely plus 200 yards because of the elevation so we can hope the players will summon their courage to navigate this hole with skill undulating fairways and a green perched above the roaring surf this is where you enter perhaps the best stretch of three holes in golf a par five a par three and a par four jack has said the eighth hole could be the best par four ever created on this planet. Eric, would you just snap a couple behind me once we course, bro? Get swinging. All right. Look at that tee shot, man. Look at that tee shot. I'm looking at it. Whoa. Get kind of a kind of a creepy angle. Spoiler alert. He belts it and hits the fairway. Ah, what a great shot, Aaron. That's got to feel good. That was the one. That's all you want. What am I doing? It's like I'm. It's like I've lost feeling in my legs, and I'm just waiting to. All right, Justin, come on, hit the short stuff here. I don't know who hollered like that, but if it wasn't me, I wish it was. All right, Mikey, what are you gonna do here? Are you gonna take this ball right to left, you bold pizza throwing man? Just, just hit a big draw. That is maybe just a straight ball, a little bit of a draw. All right, cool, you're good. All right, now spoiler alert. This was the best contact I had all day with the driver. I got through the ball. Unfortunately, as you'll see, Yeah, this ball almost cleared that bunker. You're straight. You're straight, man. Fucking hell. You're straight. <laughs> the one time I hit it straight, it's <laughs> in the fucking bunkers, man. This is just. I teared up. I teared up walking down the stairway. Really did. Wait, really? I'm not kidding. Yeah. I made sure your ass wasn't near me, but yeah. <laughs> oh, because you know. And you'd be like, <laughs> you'd have to get it in 10K. It's going to appear in 10K. Stay clear. Stay clear. All right. Nice, nice safe shot. Wow, what a beautiful shot. 
Nice, Mikey. I lost consciousness on this hole, so I don't know. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> I have no. My gosh. It's like this this hole has been redacted. You've seen the Tiger Seven Iron on this hole, right? Oh my God! Yeah, this is unbelievable. It was like I remember the uh, the shot. Tiger Woods somewhere over here, like 200 yards away, somewhere out through here. And absolutely, just an unbelievable shot with a seven iron. We don't have that. It's amazing to think. Oh no. Holy shit. You're I had driving. so many swing thoughts. What were they? Uh, it was a little below my feet. Didn't want to go right. I was thinking of doing like a, just kind of bend a little more to get down there. Uh huh. Awful idea. On this hole too. <laughs> like that would have been the one. <laughs> okay, I got to par it. I just got to have a couple decent holes, give myself a shot. I think I have two strokes to play with, five holes to go. <sighs> you gonna look, get one look back? At that, look at that fat beaver tail <laughs> from a hybrid. Dude. Yeah. It's a weird experience to watch yourself play bad golf. I'll be honest. What do you think? He's gonna, he's gonna play 220. So it's 208 playing 220. Let me go four iron. This, this, is, this is too much. much. Thank you. And uh, you think right over that post? No, you need to come in right of it. Okay. So we're coming in 10 yards right of it. Nice shot, Aaron. Sorry, Justin. This is funny. Got a six iron. Just trying to get it up on the hill. It, going back to that <laughs> shot when you're just like, it, it's basically like um, you get into a car accident and they tell you what the car is worth. You got the decision where you can either repair the car, you can either sell the car, but there's also a third option. You could just delete the car. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You could just like further delete the car. <laughs> What'd you say, Efron? I said check the cup. Check the cup. <laughs> now this feels like home. Doing a little billy goating. Yeah. All right, still 120 yards left. This is my fourth shot. S don't think I got enough there. Yeah. What's going on with this wind? I'm playing the wind terribly right now. Playing the wind terribly. I hit more. I hit a 120 shot, and I had 99. And I'm not. You know, it, just, it sounds like I'm complaining. Gotta learn how to play in the wind. But it doesn't really matter up here. <laughs> this is like a really special hole. Actually, I'm kind of like six more than seven or eight. Hot take. Because it's really intense, and it's like the beginning of it all, you know. Eight is awesome too. A lot of people really like. Nice shot, Mikey. Skip it. Come on. Oh, hard to get to the green from here. Line, man. That was the line. Is this the hole that um? Is that old footage of like your yeah. dad on the hill? Yeah. Twelve years ago. Yeah, my grandfather gave all of his grandkids like just like a couple thousand bucks or two, you know. And I was like, yo, I want to take you guys to Pebble. So I paid for my dad and my brother and the author of Zen Golf to come out here and play for my 30th birthday. And I must have washed my clubs like 500 times. Yep. How are you at different And it was a perfect day. Perfect day. Blue skies. I had my nice tan pants on. Yep. My nicest golf outfit. You know what, I'll take it. I'm just gonna probably get another bogey. I've bogeyed every hole this night. I think if I bogey this one, I gotta pour out the last three. One of the things that's interesting about, you know, reversing the nines here is that the, the moment of the experience, 
ships, right? Because when you walk out on this peninsula, you're, you know, people don't think of it quite like the Bermuda Triangle, but I, I think it actually quite is. You're out on the edge of something that you're about to come back from, right? It's this kind of liminal space that we talked a little bit about in the Northwood episode, which is this kind of quote from Alistair McKenzie, which is essentially, what goes up must come down, ashes to ashes. You can relate the flight of the ball returning to Earth to your own soul returning to wherever it came from. Oh, come on. Nice putt, Aaron. And, um, you know, this, this kind of little stretch here as you, like, walk out to meet the ocean, the endless ocean, you kind of have to return from it. And I think having this take place at the end of the round. Wow. Yeah, that's just still going up all. Right. Having this take place at the end of the round is kind of an interesting timing for it all because right towards the end, we have this experience of, <laughs> you know, the golf gets in the way of the experience is the irony, right? The golf gets in the way of the experience. So let's reverse that. Let's let the experience get in the way of the golf. I think maybe Mikey's just pushing him a little bit. We need to get him a lab putter. Is it time? Tell me the story. <sighs> All right, so last year we released a video, most viewed video of the year, called I Live in a Simulator Until I Get a Hole in One. And uh, it was on this hole right here. Oh my gosh. I just had like a little bit of a, a little bit of like a PTSD flashback looking at it, but good God. I think this hole needs just some music. Just play music, don't. There's no talking about this hole. Here it is folks, the most photographed golf hole in the world. A hole that you can play virtually any yardage, backdropped by the roaring Pacific. The seventh at Pebble can make your entire round. But no matter what happens on the seventh, you'll leave with a smile. Because to play it in person is very different than playing it on a simulator where most of us have. To be able to kind of walk out on this horseshoe with your clubs, with your golf shoes, making memories. It's really here. <laughs> it's not a video game. Just kind of speechless, I think most of us are at this point. talked a lot we've made a lot of jokes but you walk out here and it's like it's not like it's serious or funny it's just like right like it's, what is it it's just special yeah i don't know what do we got? last hole walking up at this hole right that's a yeah old gut punch in a yeah. good way it's like somber yeah yeah, yeah. It's tied on, so it's yeah it's a guessing i don't know game. what it is and you're up there you walk up here and you, it's like i don't know if you feel small or what or like yeah you just feel like a part of something This cam is live. You got the right club, man. And, uh, I think we're on the most, you know where we are, Kefir, where the f*** are we? <laughs> we are on the most photographed hole in the world. Uh, this is number seven at Pebble Beach. I spent a lot of time here. This is my first time, like, in this, like, actual location, but, uh, virtually, I've, uh, I've spent days here. Same. All right. Are we ready? What's the vibe, Aaron? In one word. Uh, right now it's panic. <laughs> I, I spent the last month practicing with my 56. Pat and I just talked. I'm going with the 50. What the? You got it, dude. All right. Ace Cam is live. Pebble Beach. Great shot. Great shot. Anytime you're on this green, man, you know it's a good shot. We're green. We did it. Great job. We just missed a fist bump. That felt bad. Here we go. So what do you think you got out of that 110? Uh, green. That's all I could ask for. I need a par bad. Guys, we are rocketing through this episode here. Mikey 
A shot at greatness, a shot at glory. Hard to keep that ball right. Ooh. Not the shot, but I'm not in the water. <laughs> All right, Justin, what do you think of? Oh, uh, man. Uh, iconic, and honestly, just a little bit of that action. I like it. Come on. Cut. Way to the left, but... Man, to even have a shot at this is unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well said. So sick, dude. <laughs> so sick. Last time you played this whole Eric, what'd you do? I birdied it, actually, yeah. You birdied it, yeah. Crazy sh This is only one shot better than that. God, I hit it well. Bunker. Bunker. Could be a great bunker shot, though. There's still a chance. Guys, we got one more shot. Hang on. Okay. You know, I uh, honestly, I'm a little tight. But it feels like I've been here a thousand times before, so. Kepper's got a great fit on today, I will say. Perfect for Pebble. Be the whoa. That can happen when you're just when you're still tight. A thousand more shots. They really do. <laughs> <laughs> they really do. Uh, hey, you know, I'm just happy to be here, boys. This is the behind the scenes reel, dude. I'm droning Nick's hitting. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> this gets me more fired up than anything. I'm in the shot. I don't know how to behave. Make a hole in one, man. Oh, I like it. Yeah. It's not a giant pool. Yeah, that's going to f you up, the walkie there. Oh, God. He's off life support, folks. Ace Cam is live, dude. Join me. <laughs> bathe in the bathe in the water out the left. What a shot. <laughs> what a beautiful place. Good ball. Run out. Good out. Good out. Damn. You cool. with the sun behind you? Pretty as shit ever. Something about a beautiful golf course that just quiets everybody. Beautiful hole. Because you know it's oh, yeah. fleeting. Like, you know these holes run by you. They go too fast until, you, you know, the, the golf is funny because it yeah, like, takes do. forever until, like, until it goes way too fast, you know? All right. Hey, we've been, we've been decent on the greens today. So what if? What if, Kepper? What if, my the, friend? Dude, sometimes the tree's stranger than fiction, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? It's yes, sir. It's insane. A god shot if I've ever seen one. Oh, nice chip, Mikey. It's super cool to like be here towards the end of the round. Yeah. You know? It, yeah, it feels almost on purpose. Like, yeah. Yeah, know. the lights Sunset here and everything. It's like the closing moments. Everything is happening yeah. for you, not to you. This is what you come for, I guess. I'm getting emotional. Just enough sun to like, it's like a candle sun, you know? What dreams are made of? I gotta, I trust Pat with my life. I gotta see what he says. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna leave it in for the long one. Yeah. What do you see in it? I would probably start it right here. The wind's coming right at you, so let's play just a little bit up. Just a little bit up I'm because of that wind. Two here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Be an absolutely miraculous two. Aaron and Pat 
might need to have a talk because that didn't break at all. And it's like it's almost meant to be, though, with my ball landing like that. I mean, reading greens is truly some snake charming type shit, you know? Oh. All right, good for him. Two putt. You know what's cool is like, because like in the video game, you never got to leave the tee box. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's actually pretty wild. Yeah, this now is my first green, time. Bro. This is my first time on the green. Yeah, I love Capra. Wow. Dude. He's in Turkey right now. It was. It did move a little left there, Justin. Good, good read. All right for par. Yeah, just, just kind of uh, off the equator on putting. It's hard for Mikey to get the read. I feel like if Mikey just had. If he had his putter working, he'd be 10 strokes lower, maybe even more. All right, for par. Well played, Aaron. Yeah. Good job, man. Par, man. Part it. <laughs> oh. That's he is job. still in the hunt with that par. That feels great. That's first par in the back nine. That's insane. I mean, that's the hole to do it on if you're yeah, to do true. it on yeah, one. Yeah. 18 and seven, I didn't completely mess him up. That was the whole goal. The eighth hole is kind of like two holes, kind of like a long, like blind tee shot where you're not going to hit driver. And then you've got this second shot, which it might even be more dramatic than the par three that we played prior. Jack Nicholas said this is his favorite par four ever. And this par five, three, four is really just a magical combination. As you see, we see, oh, there's a huge crevice between a ball and the fairway. You know, it's somewhere between 150 and 190 you're going to have in. And then the green is receptive, right? But in certain places, like you do not want to be in that bunker long of the pin. Really an interesting second shot hole. Your first shot's just kind of lining up your second shot in, in, in more of a profound way than any other par four I've ever played. Iron off the tee, probably a six or a five. Beautiful shot. Might be... A little left. I'm hitting my brand new. Oh, this is not a three iron. This might be a four iron. So that is dangerous. Dangerous line. Bounce. Little bounce. Little right. Little but, bounce. Uh, there is some golf over there. That was all ball. Might be a little bit left. Very hard to pick the target on this uh, tee box, as you can see. Shot, Justin. Nice, Justin. Only 416 yards, but it packs a punch. It's got some sauce on it, you know? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Appreciate it. Now, now comes the, the big dog shot, right? The big dog big, shot? The big dog shot here. Oh, I, I think I know what shot you're talking isn't, about. Isn't this the, uh, isn't this like Nicholas's yeah. favorite shot here? Best second shot in golf, really. Let's just, let's try to make Jack proud, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make Jack proud. I believe I am 18 over, which would be a 90. It would be a 90. It would be a 90. If we par eight and nine. Yeah. Cool, dude. Well, you hit a good shot. You, you, just, shot. Kind of, you just kind of need three more shots and then like a couple little little putts. Well, whatever shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five iron, 225 up the hill. Are you juiced right now? I am absolutely on steroids. So that's an admission <laughs> we have on camera. That's on the line. I lost it. 66 front edge. 66 front, 78 middle to an 83. So, 83 pins. 83 pins. So, with the downwind, downhill, I think we're getting 60 there. Nothing like an encore ball sitting up in the second cut. Look at this turf, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the turf. This is my best shot of the day. Just never left the stick and rolled up. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was sick. 
Good shot, that was sick. dude. Wow, just skipped up there like a fucking golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's the birdie I've ever seen one. How's it day, babe? Eight iron on eight. Good job. Thank you. Great shot, Mikey. Just get a kick. Kick down. Oh, it kicked forward. That's still That was still a good shot. Normally that kicks right in the cup. I don't know what happened. But. Well, considering that's what's been happening today, that is what I should expect. <laughs> All right, there's no danger. Nothing to think about here. Nice shot, Aaron. Good kick. Let's get a result. Kick down. It's just a hard, the wind just keeps pushing that ball left oh, of the green. That's right. This is like a different situation. This is when it feels like it's like a national park that you can interact with, that uh, you can keep score on. <laughs> like imagine going to Yosemite and being like, all right, ready, go. All right, Justin, one hole left. <laughs> what, a, what a wild ride this has been. What a weird thing we call life, huh? True, yeah. man. So yeah. beautiful. This has been fun, it's been a lot of fun. We're not playing half bad either. You're playing really good, dude. You're, you're just, you, you've got a great, steady golf game that just allows you to enjoy the surroundings. I admire your game. I appreciate it, man. Ooh. Old baby chunk. Man, it's trying to be so delicate with it. That hurt. That one hurt. Aaron, don't do what I do. I always melt down. I'm just chipping it. What do you think, man? You want to blade a wedge? You want to putt? I love Pat's all business. You. you want to blade something and just get it, get it rolling? Let's putt. Let's get wow. weird. Good job. Incredible Good shot, Justin. You did what Great. I couldn't do. Perfect. It's hard to see your friends live your dreams. <laughs> Get in. Go. Oh, man. I can't leave that short. Come on, Mikey. Yeah, there you go. Job. Nice bogey. Wow, look at that shot. For birdie here. Wow. Wow. This is just a magical experience. Birdie day, big eight. Big eight. One more hole. We got an extra credit hole. feeling of walking off of that special hole, you know, that, that, that special hole where all the numbers line up in the slot machine and you just win, you know? It's like saying goodbye to like a close friend after a wonderful vacation or experience, you know? It's just like, oh, wow. You cannot relive those. So it's important to like just observe every little thing about it to cement it further into that, into that memory bank because ultimately all we're doing out here is just making memories, you know? That's why you go to Pebble. You, know, you don't really go to Pebble to break a certain score. That's the irony of this whole series. And I say it every time towards the close, like just go and experience it and make memories with your friends or with people you haven't met yet. Try and, try and let the golf not get in the way of the experience.
Yo, thank you for watching Breaking Pebble. My name's Eric, founder of Random Golf Club. We started off as a video company, but then we started making hats. And now we actually make these awesome polos. But what's really cool about the video you're watching is that Mikey and Justin are both members of Random Golf Club. For me, membership is the thing that I've been driving towards for all these years. We've created a personalized experience of belonging to golf through Random Golf Club. You can join Random Golf Club right now. Our app is linked to the description below or in a QR square, maybe right here. In the app, it's really cool because it's there's no algorithm, there's no ads. It's basically just a space for you to get with other golfers and ideally go play golf. You can use it when you travel. It's location-based, course recommendations. There's buy, sell, trade. I think we started a movie recs page recently. Sign up for the app, get a bag tag, join us. Because I really believe together, we can actually do something here to leave golf better than we found it for the next generation. Sorry for the long interlude from Austin, Texas. Back to Pebble Beach. All right, closing out our round is the ninth hole, a par four that is not short at 483 yards. It demands a well-placed drive, avoiding the bunkers on the left and the ocean on the right. As you approach the green, the Pacific Ocean is still, as always, looming large, ready to challenge those who dare to take it on. And the greenside bunker is perhaps the biggest and deepest bunker at the property here. There you go. I might just go hit my best drive of the day. Nice ball. Save it. Don't go in those bunkers. Yeah, we are all just interested in playing our best golf right now. That's what keeps us coming back. Wish we could play another seven holes right now. Justin, let's see, that hit some grass. Yeah, it should be good over there. I guess we're back to playing golf, which is really unfortunate because that was phenomenal lighting over there. <laughs> but we gotta, we gotta finish it out. Well, again, way to get through the ball, Justin. It sounded phenomenal, right? Yeah, that's super that. solid. You got that. Yeah, 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 I got that. Okay, that's cool. Ah, another bunker for Aaron. What a beautiful shot, though. Man, it was so <laughs> close. I kind of let it slip on the last hole, but I was close to it. It'll be like 93. Mikey from the fairway. Good shot. Pin high, just a little chip. Man, I hit this as good as I could. Just a quarter of a club short. Well, this is uh, this is probably the best sunset I've seen in about two weeks. Yeah, hell yeah. Right there, yeah. yeah. What's funny is, as soon as we made that turn and we shared the seventh hole, it's like all of a sudden it was like, oh, we're all like children in the same family. And uh, you know, it's not like nothing factual happened. Like I didn't find out who their like stepbrother is or whatever. It was just like all of a sudden we had like gone through it. You know, like you go you go through a kind of a window or something. You know, into like knowing each other. I, I don't know what that is really, but that's where we are now. You know, on the final hole, under a sky and a half. <laughs> Nice shot, Aaron. Get up. Get on it. Wow, look at that. Yes, sir. Great ball. Check Thanks. Big shot. We're out. Big bunker. Come on. Come on. Come down. Couple more feet. Oh, that was just oh, an inch from being it. I say, I feel like Justin gets this on there. Yeah, he's just got touch, man. It's a really classy golf game Justin has. Oh man. The waves roaring as he makes his final oh. putt for par. Great par. 
What a finish for Aaron. And that concludes Pebble Beach, huh? Hey, nothing's gonna get in the way of the eighth hole for me in my memory there. Okay. All right. All right. Oh man, and there we have it, folks. Appreciate that. Yeah, me too. Was, me too. Man, thank you. Yeah. It's a blast. Yeah. yeah. Right, man. The journey yeah. comes to a close yeah. across the storied yeah. greens and fairways of Pebble great. Beach. Mikey Pompatora, Aaron Tuning, Justin Chastain, and myself, Pat, thank and you our entire talking. esteemed crew, Jordan, Thanks, Nick, Keffer, Jojo, it. Elliot, Catherine, Landon, all giving it our all, battling through the highs and the lows, showcasing the spirit of golf at its finest. And as the sun sets on this glorious battlefield, we carry away memories etched in the sands and the grass of this legendary course. Aaron coming away with a 93, Mikey with a 98, myself with a 99, and Justin with a 110. You would think that these strokes are actually moments of happiness, and we had hundreds of them as a group. So we'll see you again, and you might see this QR square on the video here. Use that to sign up for the breaking series at Bandon Dunes. We haven't even gotten started yet, folks, so get on board the Random Golf Club train. Please join us in our app. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. And if not before then, we'll see you in the showers.